Hi everyone, welcome back to If My Heart Had Wings, the Twins Root, Episode Nine. So we're still in the little Asa portion of this route, and in Episode Eight, Aoi went on a date with Asa. So they lunch together, and in the Wendy's shopping district, I forgot who started it, but one of them had. Ice cream on their face, and the other person used their fingers to clean it up and tasted the flavor. I think it was Asa who had the ice cream, and then Aoi cleaned up her face, and it went back and forth until it got the attention of many people in the shopping district. And for some reason, I was at this part where a kid who was crying blows his nose onto Aoi's uniform. And I don't really know why that was added in, but one good thing from that event was that Asa calmed down the boy, and we kind of see that Asa isn't a failure at everything. So, anyways, we're in the dock or the secret base, and it looks like it's time to work on the glider. So last night. Asa also went to Aoi's room to look at all the manga that he reads, and the way that Asa was reading the manga kind of seduced Aoi to some extent. And because this is the more novel version, the age scene was cut out. But anyways, let's continue. So Asa or Ageha is shouting for joy. So it is finally complete. So our remodel glider. Omedetou, minna. Yatto, yatto, tadori tsuita wa ne. Koko made. And Katori is crying. Hey there. So it's a little early to start crying, isn't it? So we haven't flown it yet. Well, you know, she can't do that. She's not a student anymore, so she has her own work to do. So it's true that we all wished she could have seen this moment. The glider is finished, though. So. so that's right. So tomorrow is the first day of the test flight, and naturally, we were working to finish all the preparations. So I think we'll still have to make sure the adjustments after we saw how it works during the test. So we'll have to make some adjustments before this is finished. Huh? Yeah. I don't know. I don't know. I don't みんなが頑張った。部活の雰囲気が良くなった。そういうのってね、すごく大事なことだと思うの。私、昔空気を壊していたことあるから、なんとなくそう思うのね。私だって朝ちゃん手伝いたいってのがここに来てる理由の大半
年上に迷惑をかけるためにいるのそのくらいでいいのよそうそうだから私たちだって頑張れるのそういうの全部含めて楽しいなって思えるんだから朝はこの部活には必要不可欠なマスコットなのよ So how about a mascot? マスコット So mascot Hmm somehow I think that's not quite right But it looked like everyone felt the same way that Yoru and I did about Asa So yo, Nesa Hmm that would work Yoru-chan Tensai wa mascot ni nare nai no Kawai ku nai kara ne Demo ne Nesa wa kawai But you're cute, so you fit to be a mascot. Hmm, <laughs> so we weren't just flattering her. Asa was trying as hard as she could in her own ways. And that was definitely a positive influence on the club. So it meant we had friends helping us, but so we could feel comfortable knowing we had friends, both older and younger, working together to build something. Thank you きかいにつよいわけでもないしことりせんぱいやよるちゃんみたいにあたまもよくないしあおいせんぱいみたいにそうじょうできるわけでもないだからこのぶかつにいぞんしていっしょにゆめをみてるようなきになっているだけじゃ
ここで風車を眺めていたんですそれとも私がセンチメンタルになっちゃいけませんあ、uh, no well I never said that hmm sentimental huh so I'll admit that I never thought Yoru was the sentimental type ありがとうございます。Hmm. 姉さん、最近すごく元気がいい。自信も取り戻せてるみたいです。以前より前向きになった気がするわ。あ、uh, あ、yeah. so、thank you as well for sharing her happiness with me。そうですか。それは何よりです。So we talked about it before, but Asa really is an optimist. I feel cheerful when I'm around her, and she's cute. Mascot, this m o n e And that's why she's our mascot. Yeah, our mascot. So you know, what does she need a moody d e s t i n Well, you said that earlier, too. What does she want to a n s w e r the set of the mass? Dakara, so you type it in a nice. So that's something that Asa or my sister is good at compared to me. 私は常に走り続けるタイプ。So the type who just keeps on running.So you might be right. 私はほら、天才ですから。Well, we already know that. 天才は走り続けなきゃいけないんです。誰かの目標になるために。姉さんは私に嫉妬してくれていたわけでしょ私はどこかでそういう私でなければならない。So I think for yours, like, well, being a genius isn't all the glitz and glory, so I have to work hard to keep my success up. そう考えています。Hmm. 私は姉さんが目指すべき道筋を作り続けます。大きなことをなします。そうして私は私で。Well, Yoru? Yoru was gazing somewhere far away. She looked somewhere somehow lonely. And I wonder if Yoru is still jealous. Well, what are you talking about? Her tone is a little sharp. Her words stung a little. Well, I'm sorry. Well, then what should I do? So? Well, that's you to figure out. Hmm, eh? So apparently, Yoru was also the type to hold a grudge. So, what's the almost time? Hey, well, Yoru, so are you cheering me on? Uh, no, 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 not that. Well, thank you. Well, I'm happy you're cheering us on. Yeah. So, I only. Okay. So, what favor? So, can you let Asa ride in the other seat? Well, I always intended to, if she wants to, anyways. So, we weren't limited to only one test fight after all. So, I can have other people ride on other test fights and save at least one for Asa. And I thought we even. we'd each give it a try. So. だったらいいです。ありがとうございます。So you really do care about your sister, don't you, Yoru? 
So even the favor she had asked about the test flight was really about her sister. Okay. So you can ride too if you want to. No thanks. Really? So Yoru was not always completely straightforward. But let my sister ride on it. Okay. She should fly. Okay, I got it, so leave it to me. Well, she won't fall, so I don't plan to be careless. I'll be careful with your sister. Huh? Okay, so we're back in the Flying Fish Manor, and it looks like Asa is now truly happy along with Yoru. So I think Asa is going to try to make some more food again. And this is a big improvement from when she first was cleaning vegetables like she was washing dishes. Oh, thanks. And it'd be a big help if you could wash off the burdock root as well. Sure, thanks. So it's not too hard if you don't overstrain yourself. So don't overwork. So after dinner, when everyone else had gone back to their rooms, Asa and I were cooking again. We are making tomorrow's breakfast. Okay. So we have to get up early for the test flight. So we wanted to finish all the cooking the night before. So all of us in the soaring club had decided to pack our breakfasts up and eat them together when we arrive, rather than getting up even earlier to eat at home. So as for the other dorm residents, well we prepared their breakfast so that they only have to reheat them themselves. I think that's only Kanako. So you've really gotten better at cooking lately Asa, so you're a really big help in the kitchen now. Well, that makes me really happy. I'm depending on you. <laughs> Sasa gave me a carefree smile. Ah, uh, so she really is just too cute. Once again. Hmm. <laughs> Hmm, so you are really into this, Asa. And you're too, Asa. So we're planning to let you ride during the test flight too. So Asa looks surprised. So it's a test, so we can send it up as many times as we like. You really should give it a try. Don't you want to? <laughs> so as long as there's no problem that makes us cancel the test, it's okay, so let's fly together. Hmm, so why are you crying? <laughs> so as she spoke, the tears overflow onto Asa's cheeks. So you're such a crybaby, Asa. So you told me that once. 
だから実際にそこにまっすぐな目線で届くんだって分かったらそれは嬉しいですよやっぱり So if you're so happy just thinking about it then you've definitely got to fly tomorrow Hi Okay Okay so dinner or breakfast is prepared So I left the dorm to cool off a bit outside. And then I saw Kanako. In her underwear. Wait, even outside Kanako, seriously? So that's quite embarrassing. It's dark and quiet, anyways. Well, it's not likely, but it'd be really be a problem. If anyone did show up, so just cut it out. Uh, sure. Well, think what you want, but just stop doing it, okay? So I'm begging you. So this was really turning into a pain, so I just answered with what she wanted to hear. Uh, huh? Well, yeah, it's, well, at least for me, I really love her. Well, you're the one who brought up all this. Well, is that really the way I talk about her? So, you were really been watching out for those two, haven't you, Kanako? Ahaha, I see. And now that she mentioned it, this was true. So, it had actually happened fairly recently, but it felt like ages ago. So it must have been because the days since then hadn't been, had been so memorable themselves. So many things were changing with the club and with Asa. Revenge. So it was, right? Asa-chan was the one. So because you messed up with Kotori, right? So yeah, she talked to me about that before. However, she hadn't gone along well with Kotori. She promised herself to do better with Asa and Yori. Well... Well, I never meant to, um... But thanks to you taking care of them, Kanako, they finally opened up to us. So it's not just me. So on the bright side, you did help the twins. You kind of welcomed them, you kind of connected them with everyone else. So not only Asa, but even Yoru had become so much closer to us thanks to the Soaring Club. Okay. So that was thanks to everyone, and Kanako had taken the initiative to make it happen. Eh? So did Kanako just whisper what I thought she did? So Kanako's heart too, uh, wait. So did she mean... Wait, don't startle me like that. I'm already a bit shaken lately by so many new things. Um, 
So first Joru was teasing me and now Kanako. So this was turning into a rough day. Hmm, wait, you Kanako? So well, you don't seem that way, so I always thought you were really good at talking to people. She seemed to have great social skills. いつもこんな調子で人に接しちゃうからさ。ある日その仲間外れにされたことがあって。You were? うん。慣れ慣れしく I see. So that was a past that I never have guessed at knowing Kanako now. だから、私に恋を持ってるって確信できない人に近づくのが怖いんだ。また嫌われたらどうしようって。そんなことばかり考えちゃって。だからね、人懐っこくても、どこか一線引いてたし、そう振る舞っていても近づきすぎないようには
Okay, so with Kanako away, I stretch in the cool night wind. My yawn was probably not from sleepiness, but from the re relaxation I felt after my bath. Hmm. So, I think.、Uh, so I sent Asa a secret mail, inviting her out. So even if she noticed it, considering the bath and everything, she'd still be a little wild. So I looked up at the sky, feeling the wind in my cheeks. And hidden in the daytime, the stars were enjoying their time to shine, winkling here and there throughout the sky. So what do you want? Says Asa. Ah,、uh, well. Just various things. So I answered vaguely as Asa stood next to me and looked up at the sky with me. Oh, so you should enjoy your bath. You could have taken your time. So I didn't really mean that you should come out right away. Oh, I'm sorry for inviting you without warning. So it's like, well, maybe I should have made it clear on the message. Well, I guess so. So after thinking for a moment, Asa touches the palm of my hand with her fingertips. Thank you. I smiled gratefully and looked up at Asa, who looked innocently happy. Uh, well, nothing in particular. I just wanted to be with you. So that's that's good enough for why. I should come here. I should have been completely used to the scenery in the garden, but for some reason, just holding her hand made it seem like a completely different world around me. So we were just two people underneath the sky, but I felt a sense of being alive and of being together. <laughs> Yeah, it makes me want to fly. Yeah, so I've started to feel that way too. So I was more interested in riding than in flying. So you know, on my bicycle. And anyways, riding on my bicycle felt almost as good as flying. So at least I could feel the exhilaration and thrill of flying. <sighs> eh? Senpai no sono yorokobi toka tanoshita toka ga naka wakaru desu. So Asa seemed to be whispering to herself more than to me, and with a slight shy smile, I looked back up at the starry sky with a gentle eyes. Well, I hope you'll explain why sometime. Well, I'll give an excuse to ask you a little, a little date again. So I won't ask you right now. Well, if I don't need an excuse, then I'll ask you out every day. So, so, 
Sasa looked down at our linked hands and gave me a tight squeeze. Yeah. Asa smiles at me and I smile back. And judging by tonight's sky, I was sure tomorrow will be fine. Okay, so if I remember correctly in the Japanese version, there's another H scene that would have taken place if this was not the Moinon version. And from reading what happened, it's obviously that the H scene happened during the bath that Asa had. So, anyways, going past that, so birds that fly in the sky can't possibly. Understand the feelings of humans who crawl across the land. Because birds have wings. Asa. Hito ga naze sora ni akongare ru ka. Shitte, sore wa ne. Hito ga tobe nai kara da yo. Hito wa tsubasa o motanai ikimono da. Hito wa ne, todokanai mono ni akongare, tsuyoku motomeru. Hold on, let me see what he said before. Wait, this. Asa, hito ga naze sora ni akongare ru ka, shitte ru ka? Okay. Da kara koso asa wa ne, kitto, souyu mono o motomeru hito tachi no kimochi ga hito ichibai wakaru daro. Asa no ii tokoro wa ne. That's right. I understand. I understand, grandfather. So I know how those people feel. And the regrets of those people who wanted to fly but couldn't. And so I. Hmm. Okay, so next day. Morning. Awakened by the shrill alarm clock, I stretch my entire body and try to clear my bleary eyes. So, today's test flight would start this morning. And we didn't know how many more chances we would have to test the glider in favorable circumstances before we set off for morning glory. And when we heard that today, Weather conditions would be perfect for a flight. We figure we shouldn't count on the weather clearing up again later. So we plan to go as many test flights results as we could today. So we decided to start out our test as early as possible in the day. And Asa is already awake. Uh, Asa? Sasa comes into my room, so she already gotten dressed and everything. So what is it? Um, it looks like you are all ready to go. So you really are looking forward to flying, aren't you? So that was so cute, just like typical Asa. Um, of course. So as long as it's not raining. But if you go out in the rain right after a bath, you'll catch a cold. But what happens if we both catch a cold? So we would be such a bother to Yoru and the others. Uh, 
Well, let's go on a little date again soon. And after that, we just gazed at each other. Sasa looks embarrassed, and her blush is cute. Uh, uh, okay. Sasa hurries out of the room. And if anyone saw the two of us like that, they would never forget it. Okay, so how is breakfast? Sasa and Yoru are already there eating or sitting drinking tea at the table. Okay, it's ready. Yes, I washed my face and brushed my teeth, and I'm ready to go at any time. So, good morning, Yoru. So, I see you got up early too. Okay. Ah, uh, well, I guess. So, she woke you up then. So. ねえさんたら夕べからずっとそわそわして落ち着きがないんです。よ、夜ちゃん。Okay, so the reason why was because of the H scene. And that's why Yoru is <laughs> right, senpai. Wait, why are you asking me? Wait, did Yori know? Uh, yeah, so we had a gone on a secret date in the garden, but if she didn't know, it was understandable that she think it's a long bath. Okay, so... I'm not sure if the Japanese version had the secret date in it. Or the part where they both go outside to look at the stars. Well, maybe he did. So at any rate, Asa was obviously trying to hard to hide it. Also tried to smooth things over. Uh, oh, of course. Uh, so there's no way I know, um... Really? Uh, no. Nothing happened, really. So trust him. He says nothing happened, so nothing happened. Whatever. Okay, so at least she stopped questioning me. And now the other people are here, so Katori. So at that point, Katori comes into the cafeteria with a pain expression. Huh? So you'll be fine. So you, we packed breakfast to take with us. You can eat it when you get hungry. So here you are, Katori. So this is your share. And just then, Kanako comes into the room in her underwear. No, no, no. So let's go together. But you're not dressed. Wait, what do you mean? So you don't know? So notice what? Yeah, 
あっちゃあ寝ぼけてたか So I wonder if Kanako's doing it on purpose. Well, come on, so nobody does that. Okay, so they also meet Amani along the way. So, first we went to the secret base to collect our glider. So, Amane and Ageha are already here. So, apparently, Amane had taken the day off to work, join us. Yeah, so it's like a perfect sky for flying. So the beautiful clear sky was not entirely blue. There were a little spot of clouds dotted throughout it and just a bit of wind. So completely still sky was no good for us, but at the same time, or the same was true of a wild one. Today it was definitely just right for a flight. So apparently, the god of the sky was smiling on us. So, we're, we have a good day to fly. Okay, let's get the glider out first. Ah. So, we went through the flight preparations, taking a break for breakfast part way though. And we attached the glider, checked the body, and double checked it several times. And I could see Ageha teaching Asa how to use a winch. Yoru is by their side watching. So this would be the first flight, so there was a lot of that they didn't know. And even if it would really be just Katori and Ageha using the winch, there was certainly no harm in learning about it. So it would be good for Yoru to know what's going on and... <laughs> Hmm? So you're not nervous now, Katori? Well, I am. So, what a coincidence. Mine too. So, I was so nervous I could not stop sweating. So, you're going to let Asa ride, right? Uh, wait, so why do you ask? No, I'm just wondering. Yeah, so why? Oh, wait, Mabo? So we hadn't noticed that a visitor has arrived. So also Akari. Akari! ひょっとして私たちの活躍を見に来てくれたわけ。And who's the visitor? お久しぶりです、皆さん。Oh, okay. Oh, uh, let me see. Oh, so weren't you um Okay, so it was the boy that was crying in, in the last episode, and now he's happy, and the mother has brought him here. So the visitors with Akari were the mother and son, and we met before. It was the boy that Asa and I had found crying during our date, and his mother. So apparently, they figured out we went to Keifu Academy based on the uniforms that we were wearing. Hmm, so how do you figure that out? Well, I'm amazed anyone knows who you are talking about. So based on their descriptions, it matches you two. Well, I didn't think we stand out that much. So Asa-chan, and they live at the Fine Fish Manor. And that obviously mean you two. 
Yeah, it does. Okay, well, but there really was no need for you to go out so far out of your way. Oh, okay, thank you. And then the little boy looks around. So where's the sis? Um, Asa, okay, so Asa, Asa hadn't noticed it. The commotion over here, so I waved and called out to her. And when she saw me, she jogged over to my side. So they've come to thank me for that one time, and they even gave us some sweets. そんなそんなむしろこちらがお礼を言いに来たんですから頭を下げないでくださいでもこんなご丁寧にあ本当別に大したことはしてませんから。It was like watching a couple of housewives falling over themselves to praise each other. The little boy bowed his head to Asa. Hmm, so he seems like a good kid. <laughs> so Asa asks the little boy, まだ。あ、そうなんだ。ごめんね。この子どうもダメなんですよね。なかなかうまくならないんです。それで僕も Hold on, let me see what the boy says. それで僕も諦めようかと。でも、なんとかできるようになってくれるといいんですけどね。Well, I guess he wasn't so good at sports. And there were a few kids in my class who couldn't do backward flips either. Hmm. So it looks like the boy is still kind of upset. It's like, well, I can't do backward flips. And let's see how Asa responds. So no one had ever made a big deal about failing to do a backward flip when I was a kid either. But apparently, a long time ago, it was such a shameful thing that teachers would coach a kid as long as it took until he could do it. But if they try something like that, that now the parents might get angry. So putting the backward flips thing aside, it looks like the boy's interested in the glider. So the boy suddenly noticed the glider on the runway and asked about it. His dark expression clearly or clear instantly and his face shone with excitement. The little kids are so emotional and their moods change so quickly. Wait, but I thought it was for Asa to ride. No, we agree. So we agree that you will be the passenger. Huh? So you're cut into the conversation. <laughs> really? So 
But you'll be in the sky at least. Yeah, so she's gonna fly. So I come. Well, Aoi is the pilot and Asa is the passenger. So why me? そうだ。せっかくお客さん来てるんだし、朝が最初に飛ぶってのはどう？あ、私がですか？葵君と一緒にテストフライト。So Asa and I get into the cockpit. I sat in the front, and Asa got in the one in the back. So is it okay? So Asa hesitates for a moment. So I thought it would be someone else. I hadn't forgotten my promise with Katori, but. Well, we never decided anything like that, and she's the one who suggested this. So this isn't the main flight or anything. So you don't need to worry so much. So just a little go around, test the controls, make sure it works correctly, and see where we need to improve. And there'll be more than one test flight, so Katori can fly on the other test flights. All right. So we carefully check. The yoke and the rudder controls. We double check to make sure that nothing was out of order, and then our seat belts are fastened tightly. All right, so this should be good. Okay, over here. So I'm going to close the canopy, Asa. So the canopy closed over us, and immediately. I checked the lock. Hmm. Okay, lock's good. So I reported to everyone outside. Um, I have no idea. We haven't even started flying yet, but I guess it's going well so far. Okay. So Katori was handling the winch and reported to me via radio. And now all that is left is to fly. Asa, saki no ko, anata no koto miteru kara. Aoi kun to issu ni yume o misete yari nasai. Hi. Okay. Asa nodded firmly behind me. Okay. So Agaha, here's the sign. So I signal to Agiha outside. She signal onto Katori, and then okay. So the body jerked and started accelerating, and the frame rattled and shook as the glider sped down the runway. Okay, I'm gonna show you the sky, Asa. So let's fly. Whoosh! So the wind rushed past us, and the next thing I noticed, my whole view in front of us was filled with the blue sky. Tonda. Okay, so Asa is now flying, and I'm gonna leave the rest to the next episode. And I'm pretty sure that will be the end of the Asa fork for the twins' room. So it's quite interesting to see that the little boy has come out to watch Asa's first flight in the glider, and I wonder what got him interested, or at least the mother. So, anyways, once I do get past the Asa fork for the twins, I'm gonna go back and choose the other option. So that was 
around episode 6, if I remember, where the twins ask Aoi who he wants to go out with. So, whether or not it's Asa or no one. And even though the no one is considered the Yoru fork, it feels to me like the true root for the twins. So, when I do get there, I'll show you. But with that in mind, I'll see you in the next episode.